After reviewing all your disputes, you're going to come over here to letters. So letter generation, uh, envelopes for print, this is where we're going to do it. So in here, it's going to show all of your current accounts. Um, once again, we've done a round two on this, so it looks a little different. On your first round, you're going to have a lot of these little check boxes next to all the new items for, for negative items that we're going to dispute. Um, the positive ones will still show, um, but you can probably ignore those for the most part. So when you come in here, there's a couple of tools for you. So first of all, it's going to ask you, who's this letter for, right? Is it a creditor, um, credit bureau, or is it a creditor or furnisher? All right, so you can do them independently. And the, the way you can select all of these really quickly is these little check boxes at the, at the top. Now, you can do them individually if you want to, uh, choosing the exact items that you want to go. But if you know you're going to be doing all of the Equifax ones, you could use this header and just check that, and it would check all the ones for Equifax. Same thing for Experian. Of course, right now it's only showing these two because that's all we have on the page. But if there were more, automatically selects them for you. Now, if you notice here on the right for the creditors, um, there's a little note here for needs an address if it is in fact missing one, okay? So if that's the case, you gotta make sure that you come in here and do that. So we'll just hit the little plus button. You can do this right here on the page. You got the company information, punch in their address, um, you know, phone number if you want to, but mainly we just need the address. Uh, and you can put any no internal notes here for yourself about this particular um, account, and then just hit add. Okay, um, and that's going to update your, your master database of this. So if they're, you know, when, when it comes to round two or if you're using another um, client that has the same uh, creditor, it'll uh, automatically be there next time. Okay, um, so once you have all of the stuff done, you've selected all your letters, um, you're just going to come down here and hit create letters and it's going to compile everything for you and then it's going to take you straight over here to the print tab. All right, so it's going to add it to the batch print for that day. Now, I covered batch printing uh, a little bit earlier in the video, um, but essentially it's going to show you the amount of letters that are going to get printed from each of the major bureaus. You know, if you were only doing the creditors or furnishers, it would only show that one in this batch. Uh, and of course, you can do multiple batches, right? And then um, you're going to have multiple clients through the day. So once you've, once you've actually uh, generated the letters, you can move on to your next customer, right? So everything is going to be put into your batch print and you could go at the end of the day or in the morning and you can just go ahead and print all those things out. Now, something to mention is we are in the process of integrating an automatic fulfillment warehouse for, um, for you know, printing your letters and envelopes for you. So that's a service that we will be um, offering up shortly. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, you have the ability to, of course, print this yourself, download the PDFs. That's the format that it comes in. Um, and of course, the, you know, the styles for the letters. In another uh, section, I actually went through how you can create your own custom letter templates. Um, when, you know, during this demo, we're just uh, kind of using the default ones that are there. Um, but you can grow that entire list of your own letters. And of course, you'll be choosing those uh, as you're doing these letter generation activities.